Hmm. So, how do you and I know if our computers, our PCs in this case, are ready for Oculus Link? Well, that's a good one. It's, it's a hard question, I totally agree. So in today's video, I'm going to pretty much tell you everything you want to know and probably should know before you start playing those PC VR games with your Oculus Quest. So yes, I hope you are going to uh, enjoy this one. This video is going to be jam-packed with uh, tips and tricks and all kinds of information. So let's dive in and uh, get started. Let's go. So if you missed the news, then let me quickly refresh your mind. You can now hook up a USB 3 cable to your standalone VR headset and also computer, allowing you to play your entire Oculus and Steam library. The Oculus Link software just rolled out and is free for everyone. Did I also mention that we Dutch people love free stuff, so Oculus Link is totally in our ballpark. But Anyways, there are a couple of uh, things you need to be able to, uh, to use Oculus Link. First of all, you need a, a VR ready uh, PC. That's what this video is mainly all about, but there is more. You also need a USB uh, 3 cable, a proper one. I will get to that uh, later down the road. And last but not least, you need software that is up to date. So let's first of all dive deeper into the recommended PC specs. As I said, you will need a reasonable and a powerful computer to play Rift and Steam titles on your Quest. Let's say most modern gaming PCs with Nvidia graphics should do the trick, but there are also others that are just uh, simply too old or not fast enough to be able to run Oculus Link. Luckily, they did come to the rescue with a list of all the compatible GPUs at this very moment. And it's surprising what's on there. So Link is currently supported by the Titan X, the GTX 1060, 1070, 1080, the GTX 16 series and GeForce RDX 20 series, the, the newest one in the lineup. As you may have already noticed, uh, none of the AMD cards is supported right now. Disappointed! But don't worry, Oculus is working around the clock to make their software ready for every modern GPU, including AMD. Yes! Yes! What I would say to everyone who's not so lucky at the moment, just simply keep an eye on this list, okay? Because it will get updated from time to time and you will see more GPUs appear on this list. So if you want to get access to this GPU list, then uh, check out the link in the description below so you can see if anything has changed. Next to a strong GPU, you also need a decent CPU, the right USB parts and RAM, very important. Right now, the recommended specs for a processor are an Intel i5-4590 slash AMD Ryzen 5 1500X or higher. In terms of RAM, it's smart to have 8GB or more. And uh, it's also uh, good to have one free USB 3.0 part ready to go for your Oculus Quest. It's no secret that the Oculus Link software works best with Windows 10. So if you have all of that, then congratulations, you are pretty much ready to go. If you have no clue at all what GPU, CPU or how much RAM you are currently uh, rocking, then uh, I got you. You can find a handy link in the description that explains you how to find this information. Thank me later. So there you have it, that's step one, making your PC VR ready. A lot of sweat and tears will go into this project. I, I totally, totally understand, I feel you. Step two is a lot easier and way cheaper. Uh, trust me, it is. So let's, uh, let's get into the cables. You may have uh, thought about this already. Why don't I just use the charging cable that came with the Oculus Quest to connect it with my computer? Well, I gotta disappoint you, that's not going to work. Instead, you will have to buy a separate USB 3 cable that will actually make the magic happen. 
Oculus says that any high quality USB 3 cable should work, but you do need to be careful because uh, the quality of USB 3 cables can vary significantly and the capabilities of a specific cable are often not well defined. You have been warned. The good news is, is that Oculus made a personal recommendation of what you should be playing with. They say that the best one to buy right now is the Powerline cable from Anchor. It's a good brand and it's apparently fast enough to run games from your computer to your quest. I will make sure a link to where you can buy it can be found in the description as well. Obviously, it's a very popular cable on Amazon right now. It's, uh, it's, it's running out fast, so be quick. And of course, next to uh, Anchor, there are other brands too that you can uh, buy and that work with Oculus Link. Just be sure to double check the specifications before you buy. Now for the best experience, Oculus has of course announced their very own cable. One that is super fast, has been specifically designed for Quest and they say that it's coming out later this year, so stay tuned. So let's move on to the very, very last step and that's number three, making sure that your software is up to date. Usually it does it automatically, but in this case, I just want to uh, uh, check with you if everything is up and running. So yeah, uh, it makes sense that both the Quest and the Oculus PC app need to be running on the latest version for Oculus Link to work. Uh, and on your computer, you just want to make sure that you sign up for the public test channel on Oculus Home. You can find this in the settings under beta and uh, over there you can just uh, uh, flip the switch. Quest on the other side should automatically update itself. Now let's say it doesn't, then you want to uh, try to do this manually and trust me, that's not fun. I will make sure a link to a guide can be found in the description below. So in the end, you just want to make sure you are running on uh, version 11.0 or higher and of course 1.44. So that's the Oculus Link, this uh, should get you started. If you still have any remaining questions, then I would recommend you to reach out to Oculus. They have a support center where you can pretty much ask whatever you want. And besides that, I would love to know what PC VR games you are going to play on your quest. Mine is definitely going to be Half-Life Alex. If you enjoyed this video, if you thought it was useful, then be sure to slam a like on this video. That would be nice. Let's me know you care. And uh, now it's time for me to sign off. And as I always say, and I see you all next time. See you in the metaverse. Bye-bye. See ya later.